you held them under 50 points in the second half tonight. Uh, it's a potent offense. What would you make of the defense? Um, I thought we were extremely connected. We were communicating well. And uh, on top of that, we had a lot of effort. Uh, there were a lot of effort plays, um, especially close to the rim, uh, slapping the ball away, uh, stealing it when they brought it down, block shots. Um, you know, we were in there fighting. It seemed like when you all changed the pace of the game and got it up and down, that really changed the dynamic of this one. Uh, how were you guys able to do that? Uh, fresh legs, we're young, got a couple of days off, so that helped us uh, get up and down. Um, I know a few of us were definitely uh, feeling a couple of days off just in terms of our wind and everything, but uh, we didn't want to let that slow the game down, so we were trying to play hard and uh, you know, coach would give us one if, if he felt we needed it. I want to ask about the third quarter specifically uh, defensively. I, I know you weren't in for that last chunk of the quarter or whatever, but you guys finished that quarter with nine blocks. Um, just the, the rim protection, everything that went into that. that mm -hmm. oh. the, the rim protection, the effort play, just from what you saw, just what all went into that in that quarter? Uh, it just came down to the dudes on the court just really wanted it. Um, and they were out there to make plays. Uh, you know, they've done that all season. And um, sometimes, especially a lot of those 50-50 plays don't uh, always go your way. But, uh, you know, we made, we made a good, uh, like, run at it tonight um, to kind of swing those 50-50 balls in our favor. Uh, and I definitely feel like we, we won that, especially in that stretch in the third. Uh, you know, those dudes were great. Yeah, and, and Mark has talked about, not just before <coughs> today's game, but, you know, the last time the Clips came to town, um, you know, prioritizing certain looks um, defensively against the team. Um, you know, the last time I think Norman Powell got off a few corner threes, which was not different from today, but it felt like you guys kind of got mostly what you wanted when that second half started. Just um, what goes into, you know, not just prioritizing certain looks, but, you know, successfully, you know, seeing those looks kind of go your way? Um. I mean, they're, they're an old team, they're a smart team, so you don't want to just kind of feed them the same thing all night long. They get used to it, they read and react and adjust. So, um, one, trying to disrupt them with our intensity and effort, and I feel like we did a good job of that tonight, but then also throwing different looks at them and uh, not letting them kind of catch on to uh, exactly what we're trying to do. So, you know, they're, they're figuring it out in live time, not knowing how it's going to go. Uh, and I feel like we did a good job of that as well. Your first couple shots. You, uh, no hesitation, looked like you were really ready to go. I know you had all-star weekend, a lot of stuff going on, but I guess were you anxious to get this game underway? Um, I mean, I'm always anxious for the games to start. Uh, you know, I'm here like three hours before. I have my whole game routine. So by the time it actually starts, I'm just like, you know, let's let's roll, let's play. Um, but I definitely feel, feel fresh coming out of all-star break. Uh, I got a chance to really uh, – you know, get in the film room and, and work on some things too. Haven't had a break even a couple of days long, uh, you know, since. Yeah, so I had a chance to work on some things. So I, you know, I felt confident and refreshed and, uh, you know, I'm excited for this, this stretch of the season. And when you, you guys had 12 blocks for the game and they weren't all you, when you see other guys getting involved, does that kind of just charge the whole team up? Is that, is that an aggressive? Set for the team or yeah, we, we, we feed off each other. Uh, and I think we're a team that where, where it starts on defense. You know, everybody talks about our offense, what we do on that end of the floor. But, uh, you know, our game really feeds off what we do on defense and, and the effort we have. And we, we did a good job of bringing it tonight, and we just got to keep doing that going forward. Chet, you're obviously a very versatile offensive player, and you could probably just live off of just playing on the perimeter. But you seemingly don't let guys get bailed out on the interior, like you got a couple of rebounds over Harden tonight. You did a pound dribble and did a little baby hook over him. Is that a mentality you've always had of just not letting, uh, bailing smaller guys out, or is that something newer? Uh, I mean, I think it's something I have to continue to do better with, and uh, I'm going to continue to get better at. Um, but I also understand, you know, I am as tall as I am, so uh, that's just part of trying to make winning plays. Even if I wasn't as tall as I am, you know, I still got to go crash the O boards. Uh, and, and try to make one in place. So, but I mean, it helps when you're taller too. So, and then going back to All Star Weekend, there was pictures of you and KD. And I just wanted to ask, are there any other All Stars or Hall of Famers, legends that you got to interact with, and anything else like that? Uh, 
Yeah, I uh, hung out with Shay a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, it was cool. I uh, saw a bunch of those dudes um, between different events and appearances and at the arena in the locker room. Uh, you know, you kind of bump into everybody. Um, so it's cool to see them. Uh, you know, props to everybody who made the game. Uh, you know, well-deserved for everybody. And, um, you know, now it's back to work. Chad, it's a really physical game on both ends, and you seem to really embrace that. Can you tell me just about, like, how, how it felt out there, just, like, the physicality of the game tonight? Uh, I mean, it's the NBA, so that's how it goes. Uh, you know, these are some of the best athletes in the world and uh everybody's competitive you don't make it here if you're not competitive and physicality is just just a part of that you know that mesh of things i guess so uh it's not just tonight it's going to be every night and uh i gotta make sure i bring it i said uh pardon that you probably have been asked this question a bunch this year about your room protection. Like, it's your first year on the floor, but you were with this team, this program, all of last year while you was rehabbing the foot. And I was curious as to how, as a, as a player playing these NBA games for the first time in a season, you've been so adept at being in the right place, even if you get the block or not. Obviously, you got a lot of blocks tonight, but there was a little in the room whether you got blocks or not. And that's been the case for the defense most of the season. How have you been able to lock in on that aspect of your position? Yeah. I mean, a huge part of it is just, uh, you know, building that trust with the guys. And um, whether I get the block or not, they have to trust that I'm going to be there. So, you know, I, I make it a key for myself to, to be there every time. Uh, you know, whether I get, get dunked on, somebody makes a layup, uh, you know, if they make four in a row, it doesn't matter. I got to be there on the fifth one. And, uh, you know, I feel like I've done a good job of that this season. Obviously, I can continue to get better at, um, you know, maybe blocking more shots or making them miss more often or doing this better, doing that better. But, um, you know, I, I just really try to key in on uh, building that trust with my teammates. And, uh, you know, I feel like I've been doing a good job of that so far.